All right, I'm going to get this out the way. I don't want to spend 10 minutes talking about this game. The Carolina Panthers lost the game 31-24 to their division rivals, Atlanta Falcons, today. And, uh, you know, it was just mental errors, missed tackles, drop passes. I mean, it, it was just horrifying. Now, before I go in, Let's get the positives out the way. Jarius Wright had five catches for 62 yards in the touchdown. Yeah, DJ Moore, I'm going to talk a little bit more about him in a second. He had a 51-yard touchdown reception. He had run CMC, known as Christian McCaffrey, had 14 receptions for 102 yards, who did his thing. You have Cam Newton did his thing as well, 32 of 45, uh, 335 passing yards. He threw an interception. It could have been three. He he misfired at least a few times. And the special teams did did okay. Now let's get into the negatives. All right. Why did the coaching staff did not play DJ more? Why did they not play him more? I why I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> speaking of wide receivers. Oh my goodness! Um, they were dropping balls left and right. Their ha hands of stone, and not in a good way. My goodness, the defense, man, it's like they got old overnight. Missed tackles, poor angle, getting—I mean, being bullied up front. That's that was already bad enough. When you let Matty Ice. Score two rushing touchdowns, which he had four touchdowns overall. Two passes, two rushing yards. Two. Let that marinate into your brain for a millisecond. That's not good. You know Ron Rivera is going to tear the, the defense into a new one in the film session tomorrow. It's going to happen. And C.J. Anderson... It, uh, how in the world you let the ball hit you in the hand, let it hit you in your face, pops up an interception. I'm going to leave that alone. Ian Thomas, a, t a backup tight end. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. So, like I said, Cam Newton did misfire a few times. I mean, the offense were the reason why that they were in the game. And the Atlanta Falcons, hey, Falcon fans, your team did what they had to do. They came out up tempo. They were your team was angry from the, that loss in Philadelphia. You want to show your team wanted to show the world, hey, we can score red touchdowns. I mean red zone touchdowns. You know, and that's what your team did. And contained Cam Newton enough to get the W. So Oh yeah, tell uh, your safety, don't be a headhunter, don't be cheap. That was dirty, y'all know it. And uh, there are people out there that, oh, he should be suspended. I want him suspended too, but guess what? That ain't happening. He's going to get fined big time. That's why NFL wants to get rid of those type of hits. If anybody complains, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Well, you're an idiot. For complaining about something like that. This is something that the Carolina Panther fans been been screaming about for who knows how long. In terms of Cam Newton, illegal hits, late hits, all that type of crap. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and uh, hopefully the Carolina Panthers go two and one and three and one before the bye week. No, no, no. They play the Bengals at home before the bye week. Something like that. I, I, I can be, I can be mistaken. I'm sorry. My mind is somewhere else due to the hurricane slash tropical storm. Florence took that a lot of out of me. Whew. So, various thoughts. Volume 149 video will be out later this month talking about 
a lot of things, including Battlefield 5 and the hurricane itself. So, with that in mind, what's your thoughts on today's game and next week's game? And I'm throwing y'all salute, throwing y'all the peace sign. You know what to do. I'm out.